More than a year before the GMA3 co-anchors romance was made public, TJ Holmes referred to Amy Robach and Andrew Shue's marriage as a love story like none other. In a recently discovered video from October 2021, Holmes, 45, welcomed Robach, 49, and Shue, 55, to the ABC News program as they promoted their children's book, Better Together. He declared, these are without a doubt two of my favorite individuals on the globe. You all are aware of Amy Robach and her husband, Andrew Shu, who is also a very, very close friend, of course. Holmes continued by describing how the couple's five children from prior unions were integrated into their blended family. Robach and her ex-husband Tim McIntosh have children Ava, 20, and Annie, 16, while Shu and his ex-wife Jennifer Hagini are the parents of Nate, 26, Aiden, 24, and Wyatt, 19. On November 30th, Pictures of the GMA3 co-anchors holding hands in a car during a trip in upstate New York and cuddling at a bar in New York City surfaced online, sparking dating rumors. As people inquired about the status of their respective marriages, the photographs rapidly sparked an online craze. Holmes and Roback have no shame going out together and had been publicly doing this for far longer than a month, the second insider added. Both Roback and Holmes promptly deleted their Instagram accounts once the news of their relationship leaked and neither has made an official statement about the controversy. They first went back to work to present GMA3, but on December 5, the network temporarily removed them off the air. TJ Holmes and Amy Robach have been suspended from GMA3 over a romance scandal. Related video The source stated, this wasn't an exceptional call, it happened every day, and she used that time to address the matter to the workers. Never miss a story again. Subscribe to People's free daily newsletter to receive the best of the magazine's content, including juicy celebrity news and gripping human interest tales. Gio Benitez and Stephanie Ramos will present GMA3 today, but it's likely to change over the course of the week. She claimed that even while this isn't against policy, she took some time to consider it and wanted to find out what was best.